If the sun exploded, would we hear it? Well, the short answer is no, but to understand that answer, it's going to take a little bit more explaining. So when you or I say something here on Earth, our vocal cords vibrate, which then causes the air inside of our lungs and our mouth to vibrate as well, which sends this vibration out across the air, and those vibrations reach your ears, which vibrate your eardrum and cause you to perceive the sound. However, in outer space, there isn't any air, so there's nothing that can cause these vibrations that let the sound move through. That's the reason why we don't hear the sun already as it is, because if we did, the sun is basically just a ton of explosions happening every second, so probably wouldn't be the most pleasant sound to hear here on Earth. But speaking of the sun, let's get a bit of a picture for the sun itself. So the sun is roughly 109 times bigger than the Earth and sits about 91.426 million miles away from it. For a slightly easier to visualize perspective of the sun and the Earth, here I have in my hand a sprinkle. And this is about a millimeter or two millimeters in diameter. Here you can see it in between my fingers. It's pretty tiny, you know? And this sprinkle here represents the Earth. Now, if we were comparing this to the sun, which would be this soccer ball, you can see there's a little bit of a size difference between them. That's not the only difference. Now, if this was to be true to the model of outer space, then this sprinkle and this soccer ball would be about 25 meters apart from each other. So very small and very far apart in the grand scheme of things. So now that we know a bit about the two, let's start changing the laws of the universe to allow this sound to travel and see just what would happen. So the first thing we're gonna have to change is, one, sound is going to have to travel through outer space, and we'll say it travels at around the same speed that it travels on Earth. And we're also going to say that the sun pops. It's gone, it explodes, because that's the point of this whole question. So the sun popped, it blew up, it's gone. Whatever you want to say. So as I said earlier, the sun is about 91.5 million miles away from Earth. Now the speed of light is about 300-ish million meters per second, which is quite, quite fast. But if you're talking about a distance of that many million miles, even for the light to reach the Earth, that's just light, the fastest thing in the universe, that's still gonna get here in about eight-ish minutes, eight minutes, 20 seconds or so, which isn't exactly that fast. Now, if you take a look at the speed of sound being, I don't know, some 330 meters per second at sea level in cold air, yeah, it's a little bit slower and it's gonna take quite a bit longer for it to reach the Earth. So if the sound could move through, and if the sun both exploded, if both of these magical things happened right now, it would take about 14-ish years, or roughly 5,100 days, for the sound of the sun exploding to reach us here on Earth. And that would be quite a long time. And I figured if that was the case, we'd probably have slightly bigger problems to worry about than the sound of the sun exploding. That's all I've got on this topic, but if you have any other unanswered burning questions that you'd like to see answered, just drop them down in the comments and maybe I'll get to them. But at the very least, now you know if the sun exploded, would we hear it?